of the pant and we're going to overlock the crutch. do the same on the other pant, the other leg. So I am laid out my one pant, this is one leg, this is the front, that's the back and I've got the second one and with right sides onto right side. This is our crutch seam. This might be different to some people who have done pants before and they've probably done this differently. I prefer it this way because it's nice and open and we can work on the crutch. So I'll line up my notch here. This is very important, this notch, because this is the end of um, or the start of the zipper. So this part stays open and this part here gets stitched up. So we're going to line up the inside leg seam. I'm going to make sure that they're really, they're nicely lining up. And pin the crutch seam. There's a back notch, two notches here and two notches here. We line them up. Very important when you have notches that you line them up first. So notch, notch, inside leg seam waist up here. So this is my back. If you're still confused which one's your back, that's the one with the dart and the patch pocket. The one with the slanted side pocket here is your front. Also, just to remember again, the deeper curve, that's the bottom. That shorter part is for the front. Um, that's the front crutch, back crutch. And we're going to stitch from here to this point and Possibly you can double stitch it to give it extra security. Not necessary, but sometimes that's helpful. Let's go and stitch this first. We're now going to stitch the crutch seam from the center back coming from the top at 1.2. Stitching this all the way around. So as you can see, preparation is very important. And thinking about um, seam finishes. So if you don't have an overlocker for the crutch seam, you could do a, a bound seam. So binding the seam first before you actually stitch it up is very helpful. So we come to the curve at the front and this is the notch for the zipper. We're going to stitch right to the notch, back tack, making sure that it's nice and secure around here and you just leave this part open and that's where we're going to attach the um, fly front and the zipper to it. We're going to press this crutch seam first, so we open the leg, there's a lot of legs hanging off there. So we're going to press it from the top, open. So imagine this with a bound um, edge, so binding on the edge could look really, really good. Be careful when you press this bottom part that you don't press any pleats into here and then come up to the front, same here. So we have the front panel, front leg. This side closes over that side. So the right side closes over the left side. So what we want to do now is have this left leg as worn um, and what we're going to do on the left side, the left leg, we're going to press the overlocking under, 
going to just press along the overlocking. Leaving, you can see this here, we stitched it to this point, this point here, but we're pressing it under here, not to that point. It's very important that you have this little bit of extension there. That will later on, when the zipper is sitting into in here, the teeth will be hiding a bit further underneath and not right onto that point. So it's very important that we have this little extension here. You can see that here sitting there. So I've just pressed along the overlocking onto this piece. Now I've got a zipper here and you can use a metal zipper. The opening is um, 16 centimeters, a little bit um, longer, but I've included the seam allowance. So 16 centimeters zipper is what you need to get. Um, it could be metal teeth or a dress zipper like that. 16 centimeters would be ideal. Mine is super long. I don't have another one. What can we do if you don't have a zipper that is that long? So we're going to line this up and that's the end of the teeth. So we're going to put a pin into there and we're going to give myself, I'm going to give myself another centimetre, cut this off and we're going to stitch across here so this doesn't come undone. So if you wouldn't stitch it, it will come undone like that. You can, now it's not coming undone obviously. No, it's beautiful work. But I can promise you if we don't stitch across here, it will come undone after a while. So we want to stitch across that with the machine and I'll show you how to do that. You can now stitch, so this is the end of the, um, or the opening on the pant. We're going to stitch just along here over the teeth. You can't do that with metal teeth. Your machine will not be able to do that on metal teeth. It's only on plastic teeth. So we're going to stitch there. So I stitched right on the edge, just along here, and I stitched a little bit further up, just to make sure 